Hello Vinyl Community and everybody watching this. I'm back yet again, can you believe it? With another video. I said I had some ideas. Um, these are just random little ideas, but they're little ideas. Anyway, I hope you all are doing well. How is everybody? Um, for those of you that have been streaming lately and all of that, I've been enjoying that while I've been trying to do some work while I listen to your streams. It's hard because I always want to write comments, but um, enjoying all of that, um, I appreciate it. Um, one of these days I'm going to do it, just a nothing but a shout out video, but uh, not today. But doesn't mean I don't appreciate you all. Okay, so what are we doing today? I don't know, box set mania. I just thought I would give some love. My last video I gave some love to some reissued Beetle 45s. Today I thought I'd give some love to some box sets. We all love box sets, especially vinyl box sets. We go out, we buy them, we can't wait, we save our nickels and dimes and our pennies. We get so excited and we buy them and we get them out and we play them and they're big and they're heavy and they're bulky and they're a pain in the patootie. So we put them back in the sleeves and we put them up on a shelf and there they sit. And we rarely get them out. We don't play them half as much as we play other albums. If an album is, if you have a standalone copy or a box set copy, most of the time I'll bet you play the standalone copy because it's just easier. So I thought I'd make a video. This isn't everything. I'm, again, this is just some random stuff I picked out. You've seen a lot of it before. A couple of these you haven't seen. I'm sure of that. So here's, I, I think I picked 13 because that's a lucky number. Here's 13 box sets that I have in my collection that I just want to give some love to and um, inspire you to go out and um, give some love to your box sets as well. And if anybody wants to make a follow-up video of this, great. If you want to make a follow-up video of Reissue 45s, Beatles, or any other ones, go ahead and do that too. I didn't mention that last week, but you know, that's cool. If I start a thread, great. If I don't, that's okay too. I'm not bothered either way. Um, anyway, so here we go. I'm just going to show some interesting box sets. Um, not necessarily Beatles. Um, I don't even think I pulled a Beatle one. Maybe I pulled one, but I don't think I did. I was going to. Um, I could, and then it'd be 14. But now nah, I'll, I'll, I'll skip that. I'll just do the ones I pulled. I'm going to start out with this. I got, I don't think I've shown this. I was very happy to get this. This came out of Record Store Day 2017. This is Chris Bell. Um, of course, he was in Big Star, and uh, this is pretty much everything he ever did in a comprehensive box set. It's his solo album, I Am The Cosmos. Tons of outtakes from that. Things he did prior to Big Star. Things he did after his solo album. Um, well, not after the recordings of it, or didn't get put on there, because he actually died way before the album came out. Um, but... Uh, there's the back and what's on it and um, if you're a big star fan this is kind of a must I and the cosmos is like the lost big star album and um, it's just a really cool collection to have that's how big it is there's the spine uh, it's great box set I keep my box sets in shrink when I can there's the hype sticker for it one of them Hype sticker there. Full box set. Chris Bell. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I guess I'll put them on the floor. Um, this one I don't think I've shown either. This is the Kinks. It's the 50th anniversary of the Kinks are the Village Green Preservation Society. It's a huge box. I love the idea of the packaging, but it's pain in the butt. Um, and I'm not going to get everything out of all of these. But I will get a little bit out of this one. Um, if I can shut it down. Here's the main deal right here. And the reason I don't love the packaging is it's, it's glued and the glue isn't that sturdy. But there's a book. There's albums in here. This is a CD set too. There's five CDs. There's all kinds of stuff. There's 45s. It's a three record set. 
with a nice book. Um, and this was on sale when I got it, which made it even better. Um, yeah, this is the main Kinks album, and it's the mono and the stereo versions. I think that's what it is, if I remember correctly. That is the gatefold. Great album. And it came with this, which is, I think it's a Danish copy. Different mix than the normal one. Different track order. Maybe even some different tracks. This came out in Holland or someplace like that. Some Norwegian country. And that comes in there. And then I know you guys like your books. You get a nice hardcover book. It's not that thick, but... Great stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to do this for all, all of these because it's just, we've all seen that picture. Just really cool stuff. So, that's one of the box sets. The Kinks. And there's also, like I said, two or three 45s in it. It's been so long since I've looked at it. Again, you don't give box sets you love. That's everything that's in it right there. Um... And it's cool. It weighs a ton, my God. So look at the Chris Bell. A really good, sturdy cardboard case. This one I may have shown, I may not have. Um, the Velvet Underground, the Verve MGM years. And this is all the albums in mono, which is really cool. And the case is supposed to look distressed. It's not beat up. This is kind of a flimsy cardboard case. You get five albums, um, including like this this album of outtakes and things that they were working on when they split up. Of course, there is another Velvet Underground album that nobody talks about called Squeezed that hardly anybody's left in the band. Lou Reed's gone, John Cale's gone. Mo Tucker might have still been there, I'm not sure. But yeah, the Velvet Underground box, really cool there. Yardbird Shapes of Things. This is an interesting box. This is German. It's on um, Charlie, I think. And um, I'll just show you one. There's a book. Love the back of the book. Back of the book is cool. And, um, you know, just full of Yardbird goodness. And um, the albums, weirdly, I put them in sleeves because they're really just in paper sleeves. There's no covers in this. And it's all the Yardbirds albums. There's your labels. Um, that, that, that exist. And there's a singles thing at the end, too, if I remember correctly but weirdly they didn't want to repeat songs and the Yardbirds albums repeated songs a lot I'm just going to show you one there so what they did is they just only put the song on the first album it was on and then they omitted them after that so some of these albums only have like four songs to a side kind of weird Yardbird Shapes of Things Nikki Sudden Um, I have forgotten more about Nicky Sutton than I know right now. Um, he was in, you know, he had a band called the Jacobites. And this is not nearly everything he did, but this is a collection of albums. And this is what a lot of people, including the people who put this together, think are his best. And this is on Numero Records. I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, seven record set, and there's a 45 in there. And... He was a weird guy, no longer with us. Um, I can't remember his whole story. But um, Flipside CT got me to listen to Nicky Sutton. Uh, Steve. Check out his channel, by the way. And um, this is cool. This needs more, way more love than I give it. But it's a cool, interesting box set. Nicky Sutton, again, on Numero Records had to pick this up. 
the Monkees 50th. They're all on colored vinyl. It's the whole Monkees catalog, including the last album of singles. There's a remix on it, the Monkees 50. Um, oh, I can't really hold it and do this at the same time. Um, and this one happens to be on purple on Rhino Records. This is a marble purple. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. But this was a Record Store Day release. And I did not get it on Record Store Day. I think I wound up getting it for a pretty good price. Because I know I wasn't paying whatever they wanted for it. Um, so that's cool. And um, I rarely play it again. I just go to the shelf and pull a Monkees album if I want it. I rarely drag the box set out. Bob Dylan, the band, the basement tapes, raw. I don't know if I ever even showed this, but um, I've never been a huge fan of the basement tapes. But I wanted to give them another shot, so I got this and I probably played it once or twice. And then once again, sits up on the shelf. Um, and there's a book in here, I think. Yep. And I'll just show one of the records. They're all different. But they all come in sleeves like this, which is cool. And the labels all look like, you know, test pressing labels. They're really cool. And the inner sleeves have that green paper that you used to get in the 60s and early 70s. Look. They don't actually feel like that. They're not harsh on your records or anything. And this was just a cool box. Again, I need to give more love to Bob Dylan, Basement Tapes. You guys probably didn't even know I had that. I never played this. Pure McCartney. I wanted it so bad. I don't have the CD. I only got the LP version. And uh, there's a track listing for a record set. I think I played it when I first got it. And that's about it. The nice thing is, most of my box sets are pretty minty. Um, <laughs> John Lennon, the first box set they ever did um, out of the UK. Um, it's live piece in Toronto. Unlike the new one, it's everything. It's live piece in Toronto through Shea Fish. It's not the last two albums, but I think this might have come out before then. Um, UK mixes, UK pressings. And you know what? I never bonded with this. I don't think the sound is that great. Um, I just don't. There's an example of glossy records that they look like. This one's actually coming unglued. But um, it's everything. And it's nice, but again, um, sound, nothing compared to the box set that they did a couple of years ago. And the new remixes will be even better than that, but it's okay. It's just not the best. This I needed a song for a podcast, and it was just as cheap to buy this. I don't know I haven't shown this is to try to hunt down an original album almost. They got everything. It's a Simon and Garfunkel box set. This is all their albums in one place. You don't get any covers or anything like that. I think there's a little tiny book in there and the five albums and that's it. But you can pick one of these up for about 20 bucks. Maybe a little more than that, but you get all the Simon and Garfunkel albums for like four or five bucks a piece. And Again, since it's a box set, it's going to be minty because everybody ignores the box sets. The Clean. This is another flip side CT got me into these guys. And if you like weird late 70s, early 80s alternative kind of stuff, check out The Clean. They were a New Zealand band. And this is a 4LP box set. And um, it's called Anthology. And there's the hype sticker. And these guys are cool. I mean, they, you gotta have a certain taste to like them, but they're cool. And it's, again, it's another box set 
I need to give more love to. Put out by Merge Records. A couple more, two more here. What the heck? That doesn't go to anything. Stay. Stay. The Turtles. Uh, their box out of the UK on Demon. I was disappointed in this. It was supposed to be colored vinyl and it's not. But sound quality is really good. And it's the six Turtle albums all together in one box set, one convenient place. They have the original covers. You don't get any books or anything. But they all have nice covers. Some of them are still sealed. I haven't even gotten, like this is still sealed. Haven't even gotten to it yet. Uh, wouldn't have their last album so that's out there floating around I don't think this is a whole huge amount of money either if you're a Turtles fan and you don't have anything Turtles box on Demon Records you might even find it in colored vinyl don't tell me if you do and last but not least I don't think I've shown this either um, this is called Sun Records into the 60s and what this is basically is all stuff recorded after 1960 but mostly after um, Sun got sold, after Sam Phillips sold it and um, before it kind of went belly up and um, not everything on it got released on the Sun label but it all got recorded there and there's eight records in this thing you get a little book and eight records and um, they're all different subjects. There's the book. There's Sam Phillips. And it's kind of, you pick this up fairly inexpensively too. And it's, it's fascinating because they didn't just do rockabilly. They did all kinds of music. A lot of soul, some garage bands. Interesting stuff. I'll just show you one record. All the records come in like a paper sleeve. A really thin paper sleeve. They all have like a theme like this one. Frank, this is it, it's called. And um like I, I've learned things from this. Like Jeannie C. Riley's Harper Valley PTA was recorded at Sun Studios. Did anybody know that? I didn't. That's on here. Um a lot of soul and R and B on here. It's an interesting box. And again, these can be had for a fairly good price considering it's an eight record set. Um, and this was put out, I forget who put this out. I think it's an import. I almost want to say Charlie, but it might not be. Yeah, Charlie. Charlie out of the UK put this out. So there you go. Sun Records, Sun into the 60s. And I recently did a podcast on Sun Records. I did an entire show, either last week or the week before, if you want to check out my podcast on Sun. And I did a lot of stuff from that period, from the early 60s to the end. I mean, I did the early stuff too, but it's a whole show covering Sun. So check that out. And that does it for um, giving some love to some box sets hope you enjoyed those I know I sped through that but um, I'd be here all day if I showed you what was inside everyone but go to your shelves and um, pick out your box sets and look through them and play them and show them some love show them that you care <laughs> thanks for watching everybody again I hope everybody is well um, I'm selling records on eBay if you're looking for anything John Paul 5 is what I call myself over on eBay. And of course I do a weekly podcast, snapcracklepop.podomatic.com uh, is the address for that. I only play vinyl. I haven't mentioned that in a long time, which is why it's called the Snap Crackle Pop Vinyl Hour. And I think when I did it, there may have only been one other person that just played vinyl online since then there's whole channels on um, Sirius FM and things that play vinyl and but I was before them just so you know so check that out and again thanks for watching hope you enjoy the video and um, more to come 
I promise these were the three initial ideas I had but there should be more to come so again thanks for watching enjoy everybody else's channel support the VC and uh, I'll see you next time thanks again bye